Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Hey, 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 welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. And if you're listening to this podcast on the day that it drops, it's the last day of 2020. So it's New Year's Eve. And I personally have no pretense that 2021 will somehow magically make things different. But even though things aren't going to be automatically different tonight when the ball drops and the calendar changes, it doesn't mean that we should give up and go forward without a plan. We we should not give up on what we want. I want you to have the business and the life that you've been dreaming of, no matter what's going on around you. And to get it, it means you need to change up some of the ways that you're currently doing things. One of the things I'm going to be focused on helping you change up this next month, so all of January 2021, is how you connect with your audience. Because I want you to understand that no matter what you do, who you help, how you work, there's someone out there that you're trying to get the attention of. And however you want to call it, it's messaging, it's marketing, it's content. But if you want to persuade other people that you're the person to help them, to get them to trust you and know you and like you, your job is to connect with whoever your audience is. Now, you can convert your audience into paying customers. And this month, I'm sharing the secrets of great content creators so that you can grow your business and have a life with more ease. Now, I'm talking today specifically about two mistakes I see people making all the time that you can avoid when it comes to content creation, messaging, and marketing. And the first thing I want you to do is, I'm going to ask you to do a little role playing here. I want you to imagine that you're an expert in feminine CEO burnout. You specialize in working with women who specifically struggle to find harmony in life. They're leaders who don't know how to turn it off. And frankly, it exhausts them. Now, imagine that you've gotten paid $10,000 to be in the room on the stage speaking directly to these women who desperately need what you've got to share with them. Every single woman you're speaking to has a lot of stress she's dealing with. She's got overwhelm, exhaustion, frustration. Maybe she wants to give up. Maybe she's tired of being a leader. Maybe she doesn't know how to receive help. She's just wiped out. And at the end of your signature talk, you're going to pitch these women a $25,000 coaching program. This program is exactly what they need. Like you built it based on exactly what their needs are. Now I want you to imagine that somewhere along the way, this room did not get filled up with that highly paid group of women CEOs. And instead the room is filled with burned out elementary school teachers. Now these women are also stressed out. These are overwhelmed, frustrated teachers. They want to give up too. They're tired of being leaders right now, especially in the age of teaching over Zoom and sometimes in person and sometimes a hybrid. Now, could your message help these elementary school teachers? Yes, absolutely. And could your program help them? Probably. My guess is that it could. But here's the big question. Are those people the right people to sell your $25,000 program to? Are you an expert in the exact specific problems of elementary school teachers who are on the edge of burnout? Will they have the resources to plunk down $25,000? The answer to those questions is no. You are an expert for the C-suite feminine CEO. That's your market. So what most people are doing is speaking to all the people that they could potentially possibly help. And this is a mistake that I see all the time. When you're trying to speak to everyone, your message lands on no one. The thing is, you probably know you can help a lot of people, but if your messaging is just too vanilla, you will not convert your audience. Here's the bottom line. If you have the wrong audience in front of you, if you do not have the right asses in seats, you will not convert them no matter how good you are. I want you to think of your exact right client Every time you open your mouth, every time you write some copy or pitch yourself or do a social media post, I only want you to think of the exact right client. 
So this is the first secret of excellent content creators. Stop worrying about serving everyone in your content and just show up to serve the exact right person for you, that exact right client. So my dad has this funny saying, there's an ass for every seat. And he likes to use it to tease me about being weird sometimes. And he's like, you know, even Jenny could get married. There's an ass for every seat. (laughs) I've been married for 20 years. And it's kind of actually true in life. There really is an ass for every seat, but you want to get the right asses in the seats you're trying to fill. Whether this is engagement on your business Facebook page, your webinar, your training program, or your in-person event. Let other people who are not your exact right client, let them be repelled by you. That's actually what you want. Okay, here's the second secret that I'm sharing today. This is a mistake I see a lot of people making. I want you to think right now about how tired you are from all the things, right? The Zoom, the holidays, the overwhelm, maybe even boredom. Boredom really wipes me out. Whatever it is that's tiring you, I just want you to think about how exhausted you feel. And now I want you to think about your audience because your audience is tired too, which means they're likely unfocused. But don't use this as an excuse to give up creating content for them. You have got to remember that even though your audience is tired and unfocused, their problems have not gone away. Frankly, things have probably gotten a little worse for your people. So you need to share the right content with the right audience as a way to connect to them. You want to create trust and get them to know you and get them to like you with potential new clients in your audience. But here's the thing I see people doing. One, are you fire hosing them with too many varied topics in a short amount of time? Are you throwing topic after topic out there, kind of like spaghetti against the wall, seeing what sticks with them? Or are your posts overfilled with information and directions and research and science and actions to take? If so, your audience is not able to digest what you have to say. And I know that you have really good stuff to say. So your audience has a lot going on and your post or your email, your podcast or your video is just one nugget of information that they have to consume today. And I know you have so much expertise to share. And I also know that they have so much they need to learn from you really before they can solve their problem, right? But if you're all over the place with your topics, if you're saying too much, and frankly, this is a really easy one. If you're making it unreadable for them, do you have white space in your posts? Then you're creating confusion and a confused mind does not buy. So just keep it simple. Here's a really simple strategy that I want to share with you today. This is what I use to do to generate my content creation every single month. I choose one overarching theme to talk about all month long. This is like a big problem that my people are facing or something that they're struggling with or something I want to teach them or something I know that they need to be taught really is usually what it is. Then I take that big overarching theme and I break it down into four or five mini topics. Now, each mini topic becomes a complete week's worth of content, whether that's my blog, video, social posts, my podcast, whatever. But suddenly you've got a month of content, you're talking about one topic and your audience stays focused with you as you go further and further and further into the topic. I call this my fish food strategy. Give them a little bit so they can take it and then return to their castle in the sand and eat it up rather than fire hosing them and giving them too much, which too many content creators do this. So when they're ready for more, they come back to the surface and grab some more of the fish food. Now, here's the question. You're going to say, but won't they get bored? We're going to be talking about this one topic all month long. Won't they get bored? But I do this every single month. Like last month, I talked all about how to make space for what you want to bring in next year. I had four different little tweaky topics to talk about. And the reason that people don't get bored is because I break it down for them and I get to go deep on these little topics. You make that content so delicious that they can't help but hang out around you and go back for more. In fact, I'm going to promise you, you will get bored with your content long before your audience will. And this is the huge challenge for creatives. And you've got to manage your mind around this. So remember, all last month, I talked about making space to allow in what you want more of in 2021. And I know that you want more clients, new customers, more contracts. And the only way you get it is by being consistent and without overwhelming your audience. So this simple system that I shared with you today is literally my go-to blueprint for monthly content creation. And you can download it yourself. I I literally show you exactly how to do it in this download. You go to my website at www.jenliddy.com forward slash planner. For some reason, you have to do the www on my stupid website. And you're going to learn exactly how to put the secret that I'm sharing with you into play 
I actually show you a real life example that helps. And then I teach you how to repurpose your content so that you're not constantly reinventing the wheel. And the last thing I want to tell you today is that my genius assistant, Jessica, figured out how to make this a fillable document. So you can literally plan out your next few months without having to print a thing straight from the, straight from the downloadable PDF. Now, I promise that putting these shifts into place, it's not like an overnight success kind of thing. It's not like suddenly you're going to be seen by everybody and your organic Facebook traffic is going to increase a thousand percent. It doesn't work that way. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And I'm seeing this paying off from my mastermind clients and my private clients who are in the throes of growing their business using content with clarity. Now, thank you for showing up for my content because I know there's a bajillion podcasts out there and you seriously can't understand how grateful I am that you've shown up here and listened to me. I want to wish you a happy new year and let's have a better 2021 regardless of what's going on around us. See you next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app and tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.